I'm ready to attach two pieces together. I have a horizontal handle, which is this. I have a vertical cylinder, which is this. And I want to attach them together. So a normal way to do this, or a very reasonable way, is to use the union modifier, or the Boolean modifier of a union. So you could start, you could use either one on the union, intersection, the order matters, but union, you can start with either one. So you go modifier, add modifier, Boolean, union, it's always gonna default to difference. You wanna go union, and I wanna union with the vertical cylinder object. Now, uh, and I do have the viewport visibility turned on. So I'm gonna make the vertical cylinder disappear. And here I'm toggling on and off the visibility. So you see that it created what I wanted. And now I do need to hit apply if I want this to actually go through. I like to duplicate uh, before I apply a modifier. So I've got some duplicates hanging out down here. But now I'm gonna go ahead and apply the uh, modifier. So you can hit apply all, or you can just apply if there's one. All right, so I'm just looking at the horizontal handle now. Let's go into edit mode. And I'm a little worried about the actual geometry of the connections here. So we'll look here and I don't see any, I don't see any extra faces where there shouldn't be faces. So this actually worked well. And one of the reasons it worked well is because I spent time aligning the vertices of the different objects. So they had the exact same coordinates. So a union was very easy to tell for Blender how to actually attach these objects in a nice way because they were touching and all the vertices where they were touching were had the identical coordinates. So this is a very easy union for Blender to compute. Now, if you want to do this manually, it's a little bit tricky, and I'll cover that next.